Hi, and uh, welcome back to our two-part video series on producing a good tone on the violin. So uh, video one focused on what we can do with the bow to help maximize the resonance of Nisrin. Today we're going to focus on this one particular idea that you can do with your left hand that can also support that work of the bow. And uh, to that we need to understand a little bit about physics. Uh, and the concept that we need to understand is sympathetic vibration. So the idea behind sympathetic vibration is uh, if you play a certain frequency note, for example, D three fingers on A on the violin, if you play that note very well in tune, it should set into vibration other Ds on the instrument. The one that's most easy to hear is the string next door, the open D. So l l let me show you. So I I'm gonna play a very in tune D three fingers on A. And that will set the D string vibrating, even though I'm not playing that note with a bow. Okay, it's probably a little bit hard to see the very subtle thing about it in the video. So let me do a, some demonstration. I'm going to play a very short A string, and then I'm going to mute it, but you'll still hear the D ringing. Because, and that sound is the D resonating, the D string resonating. So. You hear that echoing sound? That echoing sound is the sound of the D resonating. And it, the D string was activated by the vibrations of the A string because the third finger was very in tune. Let's see one more time. Great. And a more obvious example, I'm going to play now a long three fingers on A, and then I'm going to tap the D string and disrupt the vibrations so you, you can actually hear that it is vibrating. So, Yeah, that funny tapping sound is the sound of me disrupting the vibrations of the D string. So, uh, and this works on all four, all, all four strings. So I, I'm going to try the G three fingers in D. So here's the short one. Here's the G echo. And then I'm going to tap the G string just so you can hear it. And it also works if I, I'll do the three fingers on A on E string, we'll set the A string in motion. So by harnessing, by harnessing these uh, sympathetic vibrations, you can increase your tone by having your own pocket echo, because all these notes will be echoing. Okay, in my example, I showed mostly third finger, but other fingers also support this property too. Um, let's see. If I do like the pinky on A, that's an E. That that sets the E string in motion. Right. And let's see. It was another good example. Is uh, if I this one's a little bit more subtle. If I play the G natural low two on E, that should get the G string going. Although that's a little bit harder to hear. You can hear it rings a little bit. Hear the resonance, hear the resonance. Great. So I think that's it for this video. So just to review, uh, good tone takes uh, two things, uh, the techniques from the right hand that we talked about, and then also playing with a very in tune left hand can cause sympathetic vibrations to occur on the instrument. And uh, those sympathetic vibrations improve, greatly improve the resonance of your tone. So uh, have fun practicing. The main thing is to just practice a lot of scales just to make sure you're in tune. That, 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 that will have more success. And we will talk about that in later videos when I start going through the different scales on the instrument. Talk to you soon.